Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to update your NVIDIA graphics card drivers. Now, for most of you, this may be a simple task, not real difficult whatsoever, but for you new guys that just bought a brand new computer, whether you bought a pre-built or you got a new laptop, you may not know exactly how this works or what to do. When it comes to GPU drivers, they are a very important part of your computer maintenance. They need to be updated on a regular basis. NVIDIA usually releases new driver updates about once a month. I'm gonna discuss two different ways that you can update your drivers, so I'm gonna to try to make it as simple as possible so that you can get them updated and get back to your games. Let's get started. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do now is quickly go over both ways that I update my drivers or the ways I've used in the past. Mostly now I use GeForce Experience. So I'm gonna show you that. And if you don't wanna install the additional software on your computer, then I'll just show you how to straight download the drivers and go from there. So the first way I'm gonna show you is GeForce Experience. Now this is the software. It's got two tabs. You have home and you have drivers. So you're gonna click on drivers. Now right here at the very top, it will tell you if you have an update available. So if you don't have an update, it's gonna say you have the latest one and then you're good to go. But if you need to update, it will actually show you here that you need to download this update. This is the way I suggest doing it, especially if you're new. You don't have to go and find the right driver. It automatically detects your hardware, downloads the correct driver for you, and then installs it. So before we get started with downloading the latest driver, I'm just gonna go through and show you two different ways that you can find what driver you currently have. So the first way will be, um, even if you do not have GeForce Experience, I'll kind of minimize that and get it out of the way so that you can see. But if you right click and you go down to the NVIDIA control panel, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is go up to help and then from there you go down to system information so right there it shows you your driver version 445.87 okay so that is the current driver I have on my computer now if you don't want to use that let's say you download GeForce Experience now you bring it up you can go to settings and then from there it also shows you what video card you have and then the driver version so again 445.87 now obviously in order to use GeForce Experience you're going to have to go and download it it is not installed when Windows installs its default drivers for your graphics card. So all you have to do is do a Google search of GeForce Now Experience and you're brought to this page and here you can download it. So from here I'm going to actually update my driver and I'm gonna show you how the process works so that you don't have to be afraid or nervous about anything like that. But as you can see, it does say that I do have a driver that is available, that is ready to download. It says the release date was uh, May 27th. So I've purposely held off updating just so I could show you all exactly how to do this. So we're gonna go in and hit download. It does say that this driver size is 535 megabytes. So again, depending on your internet speed, that may be not a lot, may not take a lot of time, or it could take you quite a while. So keep that in mind. Once this finishes downloading, then I'll come back and show you the installation process. Pretty much like any other software would, it's gonna to prepare to install. So like I said, you have two different options. You have Express or you have Custom. Now I always do Express just to make it simple, but if you would like to install the driver on a different drive, you can do that by clicking Custom and then pick the destination of where the driver is installed. But I'm gonna click Express. As you can see, it will give you the UAC option here, so you'll have to click yes, more than likely, unless you've changed those settings in Windows. It's gonna go through the process here of installing the driver. Now this again will take a few minutes, depending on your computer, it could be very, very fast. It may take a little bit. Now keep in mind, during the installation process, your screen is gonna go black. It's gonna, you know, on and off a couple times. Don't panic, don't freak out, that's completely normal. I may sit here for a second, just so I can see if I can get, there it is, there's your process right there. So it's gonna kick off, you'll hear the Windows little bell or whatever, but as you can see, it kicked off, it kicked back on, and everything is successful. Now if you don't want to install any additional software on your computer like GeForce Now, I'll show you how to go and download the driver from the web. But the first thing you have to do, again, if like say you bought a pre-built or you bought a laptop and you're not really sure what the graphics card is, you definitely want to identify what graphics card you have before you go download the driver. That's very important. So I'm gonna show you all three ways here. Now, I'm gonna show you the GeForce Experience way just, just for the heck of it. But as you can see, it shows you your components here. So I've got a GeForce RTX 2080 Super. Now again, if you're not wanting to install that software and, and use that to identify your components, you have two other options built into Windows, especially when you install your video card. So you have Device Manager. So under Display Adapters, it will show you what graphics card you're using. Again, I'm using the 2080 Super. And then if you do not want to use that, all you have to do again is right click, go to the NVIDIA control panel, 
click on help and then go to the system information tab and it will show you that your graphics card is right here. So those are the three different ways that you can identify your graphics card so that you know which driver you need to go and download. So if you are anti-software, anti-adding too much software to your computer, or if you just do not like GeForce Experience, I'm gonna show you how to do it manually over the web. So you're gonna do a Google search for GeForce drivers, uh, real simple, I'll go back and show you that real quick here. So all I did was do a Google search for NVIDIA GeForce drivers. It's going to be the very first link. You're going to be brought to this page, which shows you you've got two different options. You can do a manual search or you can do an automatic driver update. So like we just covered, you will have identified your graphics card. You will come here and pretty much find your graphics card driver from the drop down boxes. So now mine is GeForce. You have Titan Legacy 3D Vision and all of that. So you would pick yours. Um, I do have a 20 series now. Mine's not notebook, mine is just 20 series. You have to be real specific with the driver settings. So always check these drop down boxes here because the first one did say 20 series, but it had notebooks out from it. So I want them to pick the one that is for the desktop. Now it auto selected 2080 Ti, mine's not a 2080 Ti, mine's the super, so I'm gonna go there. You have to know your operating system. By now, hopefully you're running Windows 10 64 bit, but if you still love Windows 7 and Windows 8 and you're still using that, then obviously you would wanna choose the correct software for that. Um, in this case, the only one that is supported is going to be Windows 10 and Windows 7. They do not have a Windows 8 support. They do have Linux support and all of that, but I'm gonna go ahead and select the Windows 10 64 bit English. And then from here, we have the recommended certified beta studio, all of that. I'm just gonna say all. Now you're gonna start your search. You'll click to start the search. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna find your driver for your graphics card. So here you can see there's several different options. The one I do have we've already talked about is the 445.87. The latest one again that was released is May 27th, 2020 and that is the 446.14. So you would click on it, it's gonna bring you here. It says GeForce Game Ready Driver. You click download. Okay, so once the download is complete, it shows it is complete down here at the bottom. You're gonna to go to the folder where it is downloaded. Now I send all of my downloads to the downloads folder. This makes it easy. You may have that directed to go elsewhere. So for now, I will show you real quick. If I have that, I've got the file here. It has been downloaded. Now it's gonna be the same way that GeForce Experience did, except you're gonna to have to initiate the installation. So you're just gonna double click on that. Again, it's gonna give you the UAC. You would have to hit yes. All right, so the file is extracted to the C drive in the NVIDIA folder. So here it is on the C drive in the NVIDIA folder. It does show display driver. It does show the version of the driver, so that's 446.14. You open that up again, it's showing you for Windows 10 64 bit. So at the very bottom, you have the setup file itself. So from there, you go ahead and run it. Again, you get the UAC control window, you hit yes, and then the process starts of installing the 446. Uh, 0.14 driver. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cancel it since I already have it installed. I don't wanna go through and do it again. There's no point in doing that. So I'm gonna cancel it and then I'm gonna go out and show you guys that the installation did work. I'm gonna show you both on the, the device manager side and the GeForce Now side. So you go to settings, you can now see that we have updated to 446.14. And then if we use the device manager and we click on, we'll go back to the very beginning part of this. So you go to your device manager, you click down on display adapters, you right click and go to properties. And then you go to driver, you can see, now it's a li it looks a little bit different here, but it does show 44614. So that shows we do have the latest driver. All right guys, so you're ready to go back to gaming. Just keep in mind to check this about once per month. And if they release any type of update, all you have to do is follow this process again or install the driver once you get a hang of it and you'll be good to go. Thank you all for watching the video and we'll see you all in the next one.